here to give you my review for this very last chapter in this Naruto Gaiden number 10. It, 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 it ended! It's done! I am sad to see this story conclude because it does mean the end of new Naruto related content, for now at least. First off, thank you guys so much for your patience for this review while I was away at Anime Expo in Los Angeles, California. I am pleased to report that I had an excellent, incredible, weeb-filled time <laughs> while I was there. I got to see a lot of great panels and shows and I got to meet a lot of incredible fans and some of my, my good friends from the YouTube community, including Lou and Happily Aaron and Dodger and Random Sama and Ray and Sheena. They're all great. It was just a great time. I do have some pictures up on my Instagram from this con, so if you want to see them, just go check them out. It's good to be back though, and finally giving this review to you guys. So yes, thank you again for your patience for it. And without further ado, let's jump right into the review. Now there is no getting around it. This chapter serves to completely close out this Gaiden, this mini-series, and it ends on a very positive note, which is in keeping with the Naruto franchise. In this chapter, all the loose ends of the story are tied up, and we walk away as fans with perhaps not the most profound experience, but definitely an entertaining one, as this story plays off the original Naruto story very well. The theme of bonds of love connecting people and bringing them together is at the heart of the Naruto story. And it was nice in this story to see that being passed down from Naruto's generation to the next. I feel like some fans are disappointed about how the villain in the story ultimately turned out and how easily the Sheen army was quickly turned into an ally for Konoha. And I have to agree that I don't think the Sheens provided a true challenge to the main characters or to us as fans. But I don't think they were really meant to. Because really, there, there is no beating Madara on that particular purpose, in this fan's humble opinion. <laughs> the purpose of this story, I don't think, is to supersede the original story in any way. It's a fun supplement, a side story, a Gaiden. It serves to provide an entertaining glimpse into the future, where threats still certainly exist to the villages and the characters we know and love, but the physical and emotional strength of the characters is what still prevails. And the Sheens as the villain really serve as the vehicle driving the character interactions in this story. So though that makes their role as a plot device more obvious, I'm not going to deny that I enjoyed seeing Sharingan powers again, or seeing Orochimaru and crew again, and watching Sarada grow through her struggles against the Sheen. And that brings up something I really appreciate about this short story, and that is how successful Sarada is as the main character. I really feel like her journey of self-discovery is natural and emotionally complex. And it was just so refreshing and exciting to have a female main character character in a Naruto franchise. Writing successful female characters has always been a famous and self-professed weakness of Kishimoto, and here with this series I think he is finally proving to himself and to the world that he can do it. So congratulations Kishimoto on this personal success. And aside from Sadada and her generation, it was nice to see all the old characters from the previous series again in this Gaiden, including Kabuto in this chapter. I was not expecting to see him again so soon. And it's interesting to note that he returns to the orphanage, which helped him so much when he was an orphan. And we also get to see Eno. My favorite part of this chapter, of course, is that moment between Sadada and Sasuke when he pokes her forehead. It's just all oh, the feels, all oh, the feels. At the end of the story, I just really feel happy for their family. It is just so nice to see a happy Uchiha family. It can happen! <laughs> and this chapter also serves to solve some of those lingering mysteries, such as what was going on behind that DNA match. Turns out Suigeto really is just a big idiot, like usual, so nothing has really changed on that front. And it's also explained uh, why Karin and Sarada's glasses are similar. It's because they 
basically are the same frames. But I do find it interesting that Kadeen is supplying Sadada's glasses. I don't know why Sadada's not using somewhere in Konoha. So that makes me suspect maybe there's something special about these glasses for Sadada. Maybe relating to the fact that she's had the capability of awakening the Sharingan. I don't know. I guess that will remain as some food for a thought. But as these mysteries are closed out, and indeed the story is closed out, this chapter takes on a more mellow and positive tone versus the previous chapters. And as I mentioned, that makes a lot of sense because this franchise typically ends on a happy note. And because of its positivity and its wrapping up all the loose ends and solving some of the mysteries, I feel like this chapter is successful in closing out this mini-series. Though man, Chocho overall really did get the short end of the stick when it comes to character development. Literally, she started off good and then Oh, oh, poor Chocho. But overall, this, I feel, was a very fun, well-rounded short story that provides a lot of the same elements that fans love from the first series. And really, that's the point. The story may not be as long or as complex or intricate as the previous series, but it's only 10 chapters. The point is this story was a treat. And even though I, I wish Kishimoto would carry this story on and would further develop all of the elements that we were getting excited about, like the new Akatsuki and Sadada's new Uchiha powers, yeah, I just, I respect the story for what it was. So thank you Kishimoto for giving us, your fans, this fun, short action adventure story. But as always, let me know what you guys thought of this chapter and how this short little series concluded. Did you enjoy it overall? Did you wish there were some elements that were further developed? What do you think Kishimoto should be working on next? Is he going to do another short story? Or do you think he should move on to a new series in his career? I think that's what I'm most curious at this point is where is Kishimoto going to take his career? Is he going to continue to work on Naruto or maybe work on something new? Who knows? But let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that in the comments below. I always appreciate your guys' comments and try my best to reply to them. And if you enjoyed this review, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Yay! And don't forget to subscribe. I always appreciate that form of support. And if you want to follow me on any of the other socials out there, <laughs> links below in the comments. I'm most active on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. Uh, so yeah, check those out, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!